What is up YouTube? Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be winterizing my camper. What you're going to need for this project is a couple bottles of this RV marine grade antifreeze. What I'm going to try and do is walk you step by step what I do to my camper to make sure that it's full and ready for the upcoming winter season. And when I come around in the spring I won't find any surprises like bursting pipes or leaks or anything like that. So stay tuned. Let's head out to the camper and I'll show you what's going on. Okay guys, we're outside the camper. One of the first things you wanna do is you're gonna find the fresh water tank. Uh, and then at the bottom of the tank, right there, they're gonna find a, uh, a drain line. That's to drain the tank. So you just follow that hose, comes right along the side on mine, right to this valve right here. And that's just a pull style valve. Just pull that up and the water will start draining out of the tank going to take a little while so we're going to let that drain while I gather the tools for the next step. All right guys next thing you want to do is locate your water heater. On mine it's on the uh, aft end of the camper and at the bottom you're going to see a big plug here. Uh, you're just going to take the plug out and you're going to drain the water out of the water heater. So I'm not going to show you I just had it open I was working on it um, but uh, yeah so pull that plug and let it drain after it's drained out uh, put the plug back in because there's an anode on those plugs and that will prevent any corrosion from happening so now that we've drained the water out of the water heater you're gonna come inside the camper to the back side of the water heater and you're gonna find three valves one on the bottom one on the top and one in the middle what you're gonna do is you're gonna shut this valve off on the bottom and on the top. You're gonna shut them both off and the one in the middle, you're gonna open up. That way, when we pump the antifreeze solution through the lines, it will bypass the water heater since it's already drained. All right, now we're underneath the camper. What you see here is the water tank that is now drained. We've also drained the water heater. We've closed the lines to the back of the water heater and opened the cross feed line between the hot and cold lines. And what we're gonna do right now is introduce the antifreeze to the system, purging any remaining water out of the lines. Ideally, this bottom line right here, to the right you're gonna see a port coming out of the water tank. That's the feed line that goes up to this water uh, pump right here. And so, Ideally, you're gonna to wanna to have a T right down there at that line. I don't have time to do that project today, but what we're gonna do eventually is put a T there with a couple of valves. So that way I can take a line like this right here, plug it right into there, open a valve, shut off the valve to the tank, open this valve, and I can suck right out of a bottle. But for today, we're just gonna remove this line right here and I'm gonna replace it with this piece of hose right here and we're gonna suck it directly out of the bottle right into the water pump and pump it through the lines uh, throughout the system. All right, so I have disconnected the water line from the tank and I've replaced it with this little short hose that's gonna go right into our bottle. And right now I'm going to jump in the camper and we're gonna turn on the water pump and start opening faucets one at a time to make sure that all the water is purged. All right, so we're inside the camper. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the water pump and that's gonna start pumping the antifreeze into the system. I'm gonna come up here and open a valve. Right now you see there's water coming out of there. As soon as that starts turning pink, we know that line's good. All right, so you see it's pink now, we can shut that valve off. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this valve. Now periodically you're gonna to have to run out and double check the level of antifreeze in your bottle. All right, as you can see, we got antifreeze coming through. We can shut that valve off. Now we're gonna move on to the toilet. All right, so we're here at the toilet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open the flush valve until we got antifreeze coming through. All right, there we go. We're gonna just leave that like that. Since we're right in the bathroom, why don't we hit this? What I do is I disconnect this line right here. 
All right, and then we're gonna do both valves. All right, we got antifreeze there. We got antifreeze there. And now let's do the sink. We gotta do both sides, so do the hot. All right, we got antifreeze there. We're gonna do the cold. Okay. All right, so I've introduced the antifreeze to all the lines of the camper, and as you can see, I've only used about a half a jug. Depending on your make and model of RV, it may use more or less antifreeze. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take that jug out, and what I like to do is pour a little extra antifreeze into each of the drains, so that way if there's any water inside the U-pipes under the sinks and in the shower, that they don't freeze in the course of the winter. All right, so we'll start the kitchen sink and I'll just pour a little bit of this right into the drain. That way I'm safe in case anything is left in uh, the drains. You don't gotta go crazy because it, uh, once you get past that little pee pipe, it's just gonna go right into your gray water tank and you don't wanna waste it. And lastly, the shower. All right. All right, guys, well, that just about wraps up uh, winterizing the water system in the camper. A couple other things that I also do to my camper that uh, you might wanna do as well is it's very important to make sure that your camper is covered in the wintertime. That's because the water, as it runs off the roof, whatever, if there's any water that sits in the cracks, you know, the little seams on the corners of the roof, or around the windows, stuff like that. What happens is the water expands when it freezes. So if any water gets in there, it's going to expand into ice. And when it does, it starts to pry out those joints. And more water gets in, pries it out more and more. Next thing you know, you got a pretty good leak. So it's very important to cover it up. Get a tarp on there or a nice breathable camper cover. You can find them on Amazon all over the place. Um, that's the first thing you want to do. You also want to run through the camper as well. Go through all your cupboards. Make sure that you don't got anything that's going to freeze. If you have a soap dispenser, uh, I have a soap dispenser that hangs in my shower. And what I do is I just open it up and I take all the bottles of soap and I just keep it upstairs in storage throughout the winter. It isn't a bad idea to throw some mice repellents. Um, I throw uh, some mouse traps in there. I got a few outdoor cats, so that also helps out. But uh, the second worst thing to have in your camper than water damage is mice damage. So make sure that you're a little proactive on that side as well. But anyways, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you'd like this video, if you enjoyed it, and hit that subscribe button. It's definitely going to help out the channel. And we'll see you next time.